What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking a Nike Air Force One, Obsidian and Gorge Green. So stay tuned. Alright man, I'm back with another video man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking a Nike Air Force One, Obsidian, and Gorge Green. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release June 22nd, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $130, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and looked like these are going way below retail, averaging $80 and up, depending on the size. Now, again, this is technically what I've been seeing floating around as a women exclusive sneaker, but when I looked on the sneakers app, look like they extend up to a man's size 15. So fellas, I feel like this is a free for all. Now it doesn't say women exclusive on the sneakers app. I don't know. Let me double check this real, real quick. I don't want to give you guys too much false information. It does say women exclusive on the sneakers app as well. So that's where I've been seeing it floating around. And even if you look on the resale side of things, still saying women exclusive. But if you look at that sizing on the sneakers app, it goes up to a man's size 15. So fellas, you can fit this shoe all across the board unless you're a size 16. And yeah, okay right okay now i'm not surprised to see this shoe now i will say the color palette is kind of all over the pay for it to be like an obsidian and for it to be like gorge green now i can see the gorge green but i'm still trying to figure out the obsidian part because maybe it's that blue towards the hill of the shoe and i'm just kind of glancing back and forth glancing at the shoe i can see that right so maybe this is one of those like it's a good concept sh shoe for those people that are die hard air force one heads only because again there was a time and those people still exist too they're not out there as much as they used to be but there are some people that only exclusively collect like air force ones and back in the day air force ones was just that shoe where like you just had to have a pair i feel like it's a low-key kind of like a unwritten rule in my opinion right and i and i seen sneakerheads other sneakerheads debunk this but where I grew up from and where Dunks grew up from, it was almost like an unwritten rule that you had to have a pair of Air Force Ones. Like, it, you don't matter, well, in my opinion, it had to be the all white joints, but in general, you had to have had a pair of Air Force Ones in general. And I just feel like that's like an unwritten rule for sneakerheads. But a lot of sneakerheads, I've seen it where they say they just don't rock with Air Force Ones at all. So again, I can debunk this myself, but that's just how I feel about it. Me personally, I feel like everybody should have at least one pair of fresh Air Force Ones on deck, ready to go, because the shoe is very versatile. Now to these Obsidian and Gorge Green joints, I don't see the versatility in these shoes. Overall, not a bad shoe. And Nike has been giving us a lot of Gorge Green, but this one's got that Obsidian hit to it. I feel like this, right? This shoe is all over the place, right? I feel like this. I, when it comes to me when trying to make designs myself and when it comes to other stuff that I look at, you, if you're gonna step all over the color palette like this shoe is, you gotta know what you're doing. Not saying Nike don't know what they've been doing because they've been doing this for quite some time and that's why they're obviously at the top peak of the sneaker game, which really don't mean much now because the sneaker game is kind of just like, eh, right now. But I will say this, that's why Nike them is like the top dog, right? Okay, got it. no matter how you slice it and dice it. A lot of good runner-ups, but we still gotta keep Nike. We, we can't talk sneakers without talking Nike. Point blank, period. But I will say this, the color palette all over the place. I feel like this, and this is where I was going with that before I went on that tangent. I feel like this, either give us the Ascension joints with these, which they probably have, or just give us a Gorge Green concept, which they have, combine them and then throwing some stuff in between. I don't know, man, it just ain't hitting for me. So overall for the kid, personally, these will be a skip. Not a bad shoe, but at the same time, it's just all the way over there for me, right? Okay, again, just because I'm saying skip don't mean it's not a dope shoe. If you like the shoe, go for it, you know what I'm saying? But for me, these will be a skip, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section. We'll be going after these on June 22nd, retailing at $130. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. 
All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.